Hey guys, this is part one of this video. I'm going to show you guys how we operate and turn on our printers. We have a step-by-step -step guide, how to turn it on, turn it off, and how we run these printers, the Epson P600 printers. It's, a, it's going to be a small video, quick tutorial on how we run our printers. By the way, we also have our own branded DTF inks. Um, our website will be available soon. Um, and we have not had any inconsistent issues with our DTF inks or powder. And our powder is here. We have the medium powder. It does amazing. So you guys check it out once we go live with our website. So the first step we do when it comes to turning on the printers, we basically make sure that the day before we have it wet capped, make sure it's extremely important that it's wet capped. So when we come into the building, we turn on the printers. Before turning on the printers, we have to make sure we go back here. We're using the Phillips screwdriver, making sure that we can turn the wheel for the capping station to the right until you feel and hear a click. So the head can then move. Once the head is moved, continue turning right until you start sucking all that capping, capping station uh, fluid, cleaning solution. Then we turn, turn it all the way back so you can see the wiper blade, make sure it's clean. And we run up just a few seconds clean around the capping station, around the suction, and the wiper blade. This is a step one before turning it on. We have to make sure that the wiper blade is back down before turning it on and we have to make sure that we turn it back to the left, back to the right, back to the left until we get the wiper blade back down with this making sure that this is down. In some cases we get error 51, we just turn it off, turn it back on and it's all we do. So I go back and forth a few seconds, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, go back and forth. We've been doing this for a few months now so it has not failed us yet. I tap on this hosing, this tubes to the print head a few seconds. Put it right there, making sure the wiper blade is down, making sure that small bracket plastic piece is also down with the cap, cap station down. Again, we have set of uh, instructions of how we do this every day, how we run maintenance and how we turn off the printers. So the first step is turning it on. Again, you guys will see an error, error 51, because I turned too long, too much. It will be a few seconds. As you guys can see, the head is going to, the printer is turning on. You guys will see this button here. This is for the ink cartridges. The ink cartridges, when it says ink needs to be replaced, we just press the button and it, and it gives the printer an idea that the ink cartridges are back in the printer. You guys will see that here in a, mo in a moment. As you guys can see, error 51 is very common, it's just the capping station in the print head. Turn it off, turn it back on, and you're set to go. Before starting to print, we make sure we do our daily super cleanings, and that's pretty much it in printing anything else. Um, we may get an ink error message um, before we start printing. Uh, we'd like to print a white entire sheet that I can show you guys here in a second. So you guys will see our setup here. We have a solid white full sheet. We do waste one sheet every time, every day, just so we can get consistent white coverage on our regular prints. We want to make sure the transparency is beautiful, that it's not transparent, uh, but it's beautiful white under base for the white. Again, our inks are really amazing. Uh, we only print one sheet of this, not daily. This printer does better than this other printer, even though the setup is technically the same other than this section here. This here is for 
uh, ink circulation, uh, shaking it up every day in the morning uh, before we print. Um, getting ink sucked in through our other um, pump that we have in our setup here for our ink, ink white ink circulation and our ink cartridges here. Um, by the way guys, I do have these labels for sale if you guys are interested in buying labels um, for our printers, the way our ink is set up. Um, also again, like I said, I did install this here for easier access to pressing the button. As you guys will see here now, I'm going to go ahead and press it. It'll tell you checking any cartridges as soon as I press it. And that tells you that it's ready to go. So thank you guys again. Um, this is again part one of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, part one and part two coming up.